I'm here with Greg Kincaid of Micron at Red Hat Summit, and SSDs keep getting cheaper, which makes me think that pretty soon we're going to be all flash all the time. Is that uh, is that fair to say? Uh, that's the hope. So we we have QLC SSDs that are. Uh, approximately the same parity cost as uh, 10k hard drives. On the other end of the spectrum, we will have we have NVMe drives that are kind of like our Ferrari of the uh, SSD spectrum. Uh, I was I, I was just telling a uh, friend of mine that our third generation uh, NVMe drives came out a couple of weeks a couple of weeks ago, and they are 30 to 38 percent cheaper than the second generation drives but have better latency and incrementally better performance. And all of these, uh, these drives are, have been implemented in, in Red Hat Ceph storage uh, reference architectures. Uh, so we have, a, uh, we have a, our most cost effective uses an AMD platform with N NVMe as a journal and uh, QLC as the, the object store. And then we have an all NVMe with our 9300 Max that uh, is um, you know, over two million uh, IOPS for small block random uh, random reads in our Ceph architecture. So, so what kind of things does this open up to be able to do with Ceph? So, you know, Ceph used to be the thing that you would have strictly for like an OpenStack uh, cloud infrastructure, but now with the performance you have, uh, we have with the these this third generation NVMe drives. You, you can do. You can really do uh, databases now. You can actually do active archives. You can do the the trans high. You know the high transactional low low latency type uh, uh, workloads. Uh, it's really opened up a, a whole new uh, set of workloads for for these kinds of uh, architectures. So, what should we expect to see next out of uh, SSDs or or just out of um, Micron in general? So I think you'll see um, uh, SSDs that will be the source for ingest for AI, particularly for uh, ML training, ML, uh, ML uh, learning. You can uh, you, you can expect to see uh, Micron playing a, a bigger role in the source for ingest for for training uh, through like image classification um, or uh, using like things like ResNet models for. For ML, ML learning, you can see, and and some someday in the future you'll actually see 3D crosspoint from Micron as well, where uh, we have persistent memory, have much much uh, faster responses uh, that's still non volatile. That'll be exciting to see. Yes, I, I'm looking forward to seeing that myself. All right, thanks, Greg. Uh -huh, thank you.